It's always a dream come true project for every hobbyist to build a fish room to show the world on how they love and care about their passion. Every journey should start with a single step. My dream started with a single aquarium and now we have around 30 plus aquariums and still in the process of expanding. In another couple of months, I'll be building 12 more aquariums to my gallery. Welcome to Kalamine Gallery. I am your friend Prince. Welcome friends, this is my gallery. When you enter, you can see in the left hand side, this is uh, another small fish room which is getting upgraded. Uh, the tanks yet to be added. I'll update you soon. And uh, on the front you have, I have my marine tank. Uh, this is uh, the tank which is in cycling. Uh, I've just added my mollies uh, to give a test run. They are doing well and on the bottom uh, it's an 18 inch cube. Uh, I have my Gildochromus breeding pad and to my right I have my fish foods. I will come to this in the later and this is my 4 feet Tanganyikan community tank. So and when coming to the bottom you have again a 4 feet. Uh, this is my Elotela key breeding tank and this is another 4 feet. I have my Polynes and my Vija Heterospila. And again coming, this is all a 4 feet tanks, uh, 3 stacked. And here I have my 2 feet uh, Australian rainbows and some uh, Geophagus varieties on stock. Coming to my right again, these are my Elotela key babies and uh, they bred well and they're giving good results and they are also eating good and growing steadily and again this is a four feet uh, my neolamprologus multifaciatus breeding tank and i have accommodated few leptosoma utenda and they bred for me once and this tank is now getting erupted and uh, they have started showing signs of breeding and i can see few fries here and there that's a good sign uh, i love this tank because they have lot of personalities and they they are very unique fish i love shell dwellers uh, i hope many of you would have also have the same opinion and uh, i'm just waiting for another offspring see i can see babies um, they, they started they started giving results now and i hope uh, this tank will be uh, another fruitful one for me uh, that's that's about it from, from multifacilitors uh, and um, coming down i have my rainbow babies these are my iranian red rainbow babies they are hatched this is the third day of hatching and here i have a small crypt uh, it's a testing uh, tc crypt and uh, here i have my uh, another breeding tank two feet uh, oscillators gold tank and i have not seen any babies yet and uh, soon i think we'll have some offsprings and uh, i'm looking forward along with you guys i'll i'll update you once we have some babies in it so i definitely have three males and uh, four females and uh, there is quite an aggression in this tank uh, which is a good sign actually uh, to guard their territories and i hope i'll get offspring soon and here is another two feet uh, these are my christiai cichlids uh, they are called the african malawian hawk uh, so they they grow big so it, I, I don't think I am doing justice by keeping them in the two feet. I am soon going to upgrade and, and give them more space. And here another two feet. Um, I have here, I uh, have kept my Geophagus Albino Hercules. 
and uh, this is uh, this is going to a customer of mine and uh, this is one day before my before the shipping they look good and uh, i one day i would like to breathe them and that is also one of the project which has been there for a long time and here i have my cribbins breeding pair this breeding pair gave me a quite a lot of offsprings and uh, uh, and i almost took around 300 to 400 babies uh, on an every uh, spawn they give me around 50 to 80 babies that is quite small but that's good and again here we are in, i have my shell tank uh, these are my uh, angels uh, i have few few assorted angels and this you have seen on video already uh, if not i have I've just given in the description this is my branch room actually and here is the vija i mean sorry here are the jurudachromas ornatus this is a community tank um, again i have i have kept the wild cards along with my other uh, local bred ones and and I'm just expecting uh, expecting spawning behaviors. That is a good sign. And again here it's uh, Vija Brihadori. These are again the monsters. Uh, they grow up to seven to eight inches, and uh, they are still babies now, and they are growing steadily. And uh, this is again a two feet. I have I have kept this uh, with my Mbasi, Babasi Creek uh, cichlids. These are my babies. And again, this is my platinum angel babies, which uh, which I could hardly say only four to five babies, and they are growing well and, and they they are good now. They are one inch, two inches now. I think hopefully I can save them. Uh, this is the lucky pair which I was uh, I was happy to uh, make this, and this is my uh, oxygen cylinder tank. Uh, during classes, I used to. I used to pack air with this and here is my uh, tetra tank and here I have accommodated few fire line danios these are all imported and I'm planning to breed them soon and I hope I can I can I can get some babies out of these beauties and here I have my uh, again a two feeter here I have my turkeys peacock sunfish and my Mabasi Creek Par. Uh, I think uh, uh, they have spawned for once, and after that, I didn't I didn't see any uh, eggs. So I've just I've just given some dither fishes along with them so that they they try, try they can try to spawn again and uh, give me baby. So let's hope for the best. And these sunfish are American natives. Uh, they are very good in pond. They very good for spawn fishes. So. Uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful to get them uh, bigger soon and and find a good home for them. And these are again a two-feeder and my lake tank and lake tanganyikan fishes. Like I have albino bisharis, bisharis, zildochromus transcriptus. I have uh, sumbu drop and I have my cylindricus. It's, a, it's like it's a growing grow tank, and uh, I will uh, move them to a bigger tank soon. And here are my um, plecos, whale tail plecos, Brazil nose whale tail pleco breeding tank. And uh, they are spawning quite good for me. And nowadays, they uh, the males tend to uh, be more aggressive and uh, and, uh, and and throw away all the eggs, whatever there in the. Uh, caves they, they they try to push away the eggs and all the eggs are scattered in the tank this has been a couple of times or it's been that i don't know what what's the reason they are doing it so if you have any idea please do come in and uh, let me know so that i can uh, do any changes for them to spawn again and um, take babies out of these babies and hopefully i'll be changing this tank to the new room uh, so that i can make a good result out of it this is again uh, uh, an, an, an african uh, imbunas tank uh, this uh, soon it will be moved away and uh, if we have any customers i can i can hand it over to them and again this is a uh, uh, lake tanganyikan uh, i have frentosas helianthus i have uh, um, 
gold oscillators sorry uh, gold compressors and black calvers and here i have these uh, cynodonus petrocala this is a catfish and i have an african blockage uh, three african blockages in it so soon they will be moved to a bigger tank um, and uh, hopefully they are good and here uh, i have my sulvesis and my uh, red bishops they are all growing well and eating properly and uh, their diet includes a uh, proper snack of uh, hikaris here i have my cribbins babies these are grow out tanks and they are growing steadily and uh, i hopefully they they in a month or two they will be available for sale and by one one and a half 1.2 to 1.5 inches uh, i can i can make a good sale out of these babies these are good actually uh, the, i am I'm, i'm hopefully looking forward to take one more parent out of these and uh, make a backup for them here i have my uh, rainbow red rainbow babies <coughs> sorry guys so here uh, these i have around 500 to 600 babies in 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 this tank uh, they are very small and um, <coughs> very hard to feed them so i am just feeding powder food and uh, i have placed few uh, leaves for example almond leaves and banana leaves uh, once they uh, get rotten and they can they that will be a, a food source for them once this was suggested one of my friend was suggesting this idea so i just tried it and i think this is helping me a lot and uh, you could see a small tiny baby is here and there and uh, you don't believe me but there are 500 plus babies here and this is my actual art the mexican walking fish uh, this has been a part of me with for a very long time and uh, i'm happy about it and these are my breeding colony red rainbows and i've kept the spawning up uh, always there for them to play eggs and, and this is my uh, blue rainbow tank along with some hockey stick and uh, these are also uh, giving some eggs now and then and this is my uh, gelidochromus tank i have few babies here and uh, this this female is hiding and for i think it, it already laid the eggs in it and i have the male here with the babies they are very good parent they don't uh, eat the baby so this is the only which have been introduced to earlier so i'm hopefully i can put uh, a stone a rock an artificial rock and uh, some fishes later i'll be updating it on the marine tank soon and coming to the food i feed lot of different varieties of food because uh, these fishes will not be happy with one food so i tried few things during this lockdown uh, hikari uh, products were on demand so i I've, i've just changed to tayo malavi um, some some farm foods and uh, so this tayo bites which is a delicious food but it's good for tetras and my uh, siblings are also eating it and this is some color plus from other remedies this wa product is uh, for my pecos the tablets and this blood worms i feel I, i feed them once in a week and this is my uh, water uh, fertilizer like uh, stress heat for the fish to acclimate the fish and uh, this is the anti white spot the blue medicines from aqua remedies and this is again at this I uh, gave a video on this it's a branch of eggs so I have a lot of them these are in a water conditioner to increase the bacteria for the marine tank and that's pretty much the food this is a farm feed food uh, which i used to feed them once in a week or twice a week if you like this video uh, please give a thumbs up and also don't forget to comment and share it with your friends uh, for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and click on the bell notification icon so that you will be notified whenever any new videos we share 
Also, can you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook page. Okay, friends, let's meet up in another beautiful video with some other useful information. Until then, be happy and be safe.